ever since DAC when they first started pulling it out and I think for Secret they're in their comfort zone everyone's got a hero they've played a lot I mean Secret kind of draft from each player seems to have a hero pool of like four to six heroes that they kind of stick to but this to me is some of their stronger ones with the Arteezy Shark Fest to keep tabs of Kuro find out where he is in the trees always um, but generally speaking, not an easy from there. Bringing in the Tusk here, they've got sentries and dust. Crew in trouble at bottom. Yeah, here we go. They're going to try for first blood, getting the illusions out as well. He is only level one, so he hasn't got the spirit dancing. Kuroki, he's going to have the arm shells coming out. They will block him enough. That's going to be first blood there. Zyde nice. made a big mistake oh. here. He's lane, then S4 is in his own. Yeah, so we're going to go for another charge. He's using the tree line really well, so he's going to catch Arteezy by surprise, but... Artizi's positioning at the tower is just... Oh, he got the bash on the... the oh, the second bash! 17%. Oh, 17%. Yep. <laughs> no, it's fucking... Okay. Oh, look at the courier. Can Kuroki do this here? Oh, they're trying to juke it out and he's one more hit! <laughs> That's nicely oh. played. Can he find it again? Oh, hello. Look, Big Daddy's coming in and he's found the dust onto Kuroki and Kuroki could be in trouble now. He's going to get caught out by Farta as well. So there's going to be another lightning bolt coming down on his head if needed. The snowball's going to be enough to finish it off with the Arc Lightning. And again, Cloud9 finding some tasty little pick up. And as you were saying earlier, Zai, level 4 at the moment looking pretty healthy. Bone 7, leaving the top lane, wanting to try and help find something down here. Kuroki going in, but they've got the dust again. And they might be able to bring him down. They've got a charge if needed. He's going to throw the last down onto Zai. Ice shards will trap both of them. The snowball of the charge coming onto Zai. The third Ref will bring down the bounty hunter. They should be able to find Zai as well there. And again, Cloud9 with the plays, taking down both heroes here on this bottom lane. Very nicely done. Maybe looking for a bit of action here between the tier ones and the tier twos. Trying to look for a sneaky charge across the tree line. And I mean, secret, they wouldn't expect it if he wants to go for it. Kuroki's actually just trying to chase down E here, e here there with the uh, charging creeps. Bone 7 came in over the tree line from the secret shot. One more red clip, got him. Bone 7's position for his charges has been really good. He's managed to avoid all the Observer yes. Wars when he's gone. Like, starting from the early game has realistically gone great with the lanes for Secret. Just the kills going C9's way is a bit of a problem, but they're not actually behind despite the 6-0 kill score. Oh, they want to go for S4 here. They're going to set up with the brain tap. In comes the snowball. S4 will blink away here. Oh, no. The Fibbergos Raph is going to be enough damage. The right kick's the nightmare. Holding him in position. Big Daddy moves in for the final blow. And he's going to look for the Sonic Wave. S4's trying to turn it around. It's not quite enough. Maybe it will bring down Misery. Denied. And it certainly looks like it will. He's going to look for the deny. Oh, Big Daddy. He does it. And it is a kill for the side of Cloud9. And it's denied there onto the bat lane. Very nice play from Cloud9. Not easy. He is smoked up here. Kuroki. Leading the way, they want to do something about this EE. He's got the doppelganger, he's got the TP as well, and he will doppelganger, he's going to TP out straight away. Is he going to be able to do it? Yes, he is. Secret can't find him. He will escape, and well, meanwhile, we're going to see the side of Cloud9 get themselves kills. They bring down the console. They might even be able to find S4 as well. There's just Snowball arriving. He will fall. It's going to be two more kills for Cloud9. And this game, Cloud9, they're kind of walking all over. On this game, he's just heaping around the map, blasting waves left, right, and center, and he's going to continue to be able to just provide a lot of items for his team. Oh, a bit of a Viking off here in the mid lane. We're going to see Misery going in with the Fiends Grip on to Arteezy. Holding it still. There's actually going to be the Nightmare referred off to himself, and the Arteezy will be able to bring down the Bane with himself. There's going to be a two for one across the map there in top lane. The fight's not over. Zai, he's trying to chase his down. He's got the Sergio in the second with the vacuum. He should be able to find BDN, and he certainly will. Gets the kill there onto the Tusk. So it's going to be a two for two across the map there between the sides. Very deep for Bone 7 to go. They do not have the Thunder Ref either. So now he's just giving him a bit of a tap and back off. But now, Arteezy's coming in for the wraparound. And they might try and do something about this. And I think Bone 7, well, he might have boned a little bit too deep here. There's going to be the vacuum and the right is coming through with the raises. They will bring down the Spirit Breaker. And uh, just a little bit too aggressive there from the Spirit. Yeah, oh, mid lane. Mid lane, they go with the uh, War is plunged into the gods and the Thunder Gods wrap blows up the castle. They're going to look for S4 here as well. Chasing him down. He will be able to blink away as there. Nice charge. There is a few seconds. S4 contemplating turning this one around here with the ball charges. But is he going to be Kuroki? He's trying to chase this one down with the slow S4. Is he going to go for it? He's still trying to deal with this sigil. And uh, now with the dust. That's going to scare Kuroki off. And Kuroki, he's going to die. Snowball comes into the final tap on the back from Big Daddy. We'll bring him down. And a lot of chaos. Is top lane. The fight's just continuing. Arteezy's being caught out here. He's looking to turn this one onto them, but it's not going to be enough. He goes down as well. And that's going to be Bane there taking down the SF. And this is a pretty chaotic game. These early pickoffs as well and help out his team a bit.
Oh, look at this. Top lane. There's going to be a charge onto Puppy. Puppy, he's in a lot of trouble. E and Misery there as well. There's anywhere for the Keeper of the Light to run. The burst damage is too much, especially when, indeed, you were saying, throwing in the Thunder God's Wrath. The hero's present, so they can kind of position around the SF Razors or a Queen of Pain Sonic Wave, and they're not done. Charge mid. And he does spot straight away. There's your snowball. E teeping in with a boost of travel. Another quick pick off there for Cloud9. Zy will come in, but he's all alone. And hang on, Art's oh, easy. What's he trying to do? He's trying to get the record off. It's going to be doppelganger dodge. There was an S4 Sonic Wave, but I don't think he connected onto anyone. The wall has been popped down by Zy, but again, that's not the real PL. The Sun and Cloud9 are already out of there. And a lot of things being whiffed there by Secret on the high ground. Really had a buyback. Kuru bought back for that one just to try and throw some tracks down and get into some comeback money. Which is going to be the way for Secret back in this game. This is not the way for them back in this game. S4 at mid getting snowballed and being chased down after the bleak and no tell. But it's off with the dunk. Yeah, no croaky, he could be trouble. Do they have any kind of detection? They don't mind a little bit. Look at the lightning bolt coming down. And that was the little croak is going. He's got the end of Shadow's chicken now. They're going to be his charge. Now straight towards Puppy. Puppy's trying to run himself away. Arteezy getting bursted down by this Zeus. He's doing so much burst damage. Arteezy will be able to kill off the Bane. We see a wraparound now. Big Daddy comes in with a snowball onto two. He's going to be able to bring down the Cottle. There'll be a war punch onto Arteezy. He needs a bit of backup, but it looks like there's not going to be backup for him. But there will be backup for Arteezy. Oh, Zai's coming coming. forward. He's got a surge in a few seconds. Oh, yes, indeed. Both with the charge. The best defense is offense, and bashing Arteezy away this might be enough to buy him the time to get out. Oh, there we go, bursting them down. There's going to be an unstoppable kill streak. Back him up to two. Now Arteezy's getting ready. All of a sudden, he will pop. E will be able to fight the kill. Now can E get himself out? He doppelgangers starts to run. There's going to be a surge of S4, but again, the charges from both seven. The snowballs from Big Daddy. S4 will be able to bring down the Spirit Breaker, but E, he just kills S4 as he blinks on top of the rune. Again, Cloud9 just outplaying the side of Secret. It's 21 to 7. We're only six and a half minutes in. Zai, he might be able to find the kill on TE, but no miseries there. And again, the team play from Cloud9 this game. It's just insane. They're not going to be able to kill Zai, are they? No, surely not. Maybe they are. The snowball. But the brain sap and the snowball, they go in, they take down Zai as well. When is it going to stop? Oh, this is a, I mean, oh. That's a track kill. <laughs> Okay. That's a that's a that's a little bit little bit of a cheeky one there from Puppy, but I get 22 to 8. This I can get this tier two, but it's just a way of defending their high ground here by forcing Secret back. Radiant's Secret can't continue to push this bottom lane. Indeed, and well, straight away, Bone 7 on to Puppy. Oh, a bit of hate going on to this old man here, and he will go down with the help of the Thunder God's Wrath. And uh, oh, wow, that was very See, nice as well from them there. Finding these kills, yeah. Yeah. This, that was a bit sloppy from Secret, teeping in, and the fact there was nighttime both he just pushed, which was, I think, meant to accomplish a bit more than just two T2 towers. Mid lane. And he, oh, look at this, they found Big Daddy, he's gone a little bit big too deep, and, well, S4 with the right clicks and the soul, but there for the Orchid, they'll be able to take down the Tuscan. Blinking forward here, there's going to be the TP in, actually coming from our... One mistake, one bad team fight, and they just lose the game. Oh. Look at Misery, he's a little bit all alone here. The Orc is going to come out, Kuroki is looking for that track hold and he'll certainly find it there. And these are the kills that we're talking about. If they can find these track kills, the side draft just doesn't do that. Oh, bottom lane, S4, he needs to be careful. Fada here, he's positioned himself in Invis and there's going to be a TP back from Bain, and well, S4 is going to start to go, but here comes your great boost to travel in action here. Should be able to find the kill on S4. Oh, the blink again, he's going to TP out. Is he going to be able to find it? No! But, so we'll be able to get him there with the final arc lightning, so very nice. Nicely caught out there, C9, and well, here we go, C9, they might find more, Kuroki's going to let the TP away, but the Snowball's going to be there to cancel it, he's going to be stuck here, Big Daddy will try and chase this down, and Farte, again, coming in with the Lightning, it's going to be a double kill for the Zeus, and Secret, thrown away a couple of two sloppy kills there. Yeah, this is all the draft does is find pickoffs and then farm, farm, farm. And this is when you find pickoffs, it's a lot easier to farm because you're so much safer on the map with Bounty and Clock dead. And C9 not done, going for some oh, more. Look at this. Ooh, Fiend Strip got cancelled though, and with that, I think C9 gonna be pushed back. Yeah, look at this body block here from Zai, trying to do it again, but now he's turned up at the same time. Arteezy comes in with a record of souls, but it's just on the edge of a, pretty much nothing. The fight's continuing as here. They have been able to bring down Bone 7. There's going to be the surge onto Arteezy, but actually a Dark Sea illusion there blocking him. At the same time, E is trying to find Puppy, but he's going to go the wrong way. And it will just end up with Bone 7 dying there. In Can't take enough objectives here. Uh, probably during this next Aegis. I feel like Secret need to get a lot done during this next Roshan and Aegis timing that they're going to have. Oh, they were straight into Misery. Misery just not aware of what's going on. He'll get taken down. That's going to be a track kill for the side of Secret. 
and the smoke was smoke was certainly successful there, getting themselves some more gold. And at this point, any track kill is going to be a good kill. There's Bone Seven with the Shadow Blade charging in onto S4 with the ult as well. Trying to hold in place, he's moving in. The Thunder goes rap as well with the Snowball Lockdown. They will bring down the Queen of Pain. There's going to be the wall dropped again, but it's, it's another wall that just doesn't really accomplish a lot. The side of C9 just walking away. They will find the killer to Big Daddy No Tail. Envy is sticking about. He's very low on mana here. Bone Seven just charging himself out of the fight. He will top a Kanga, but the Blink Four from the side. And now Zai's looking for the play. There's going to be a Diffusal Blade slowing him down. But they're trying to find this kill on EE. He's so low. The Blink Forward from Artesi. They'll be able to secure it. It's a double kill for the Shadow Fiend. And in that fight, I mean, you were talking about when these team fights kick off. And... Beyond me. I'm listing off like tier for item after tier for item. He needs it all this game, so. And he oh! just managed to keep up for quickly. That time. vacuum there, Ooh. stopping the Bone 7 charge. <laughs> Oh nice my goodness, oh my, oh, that was beautiful. Comfortable with just taking the game later, or is there always this imminent threat of the PL getting very scary? That late game is so good, I don't feel like they lose late game. There's a charge bottom lane, both haven't realized it's a bad fight, and he actually took it as well! Uh oh, MV ulted it up, there's a trap soon, and this looks like the death of the mana they also from for him. So Secret, oh boy. Can go late game, and the big thing is here, they've just been trying to Trying to do the best to stem the aggression for Secret, but the fight's been popped out. Artizi just heading up there, bashing down as this tier three. He just gone. The fighter trying to do what he can, then looking to force a fight. Bone seven going in. He's got Artizi, but the Sonic Wave catches them all. Now Zai coming in with the Shiva's guard. It's going to be two heroes down. Artizi will buy back straight away, and he of course does have those boosted travel to get himself back into the fight. And there we go. No, he doesn't even need it. Puppy just calls him in. And at this point, it's not looking great for Cloud9. They're almost certainly going to lose a set of racks. There's no fortification available. Bottom racks will fall. The Thunder God Raps are coming out. Big Daddy looking for the wrap around with the Rush Punch. Will be able to bring down Bounty Hunter, but Arteezy just pops the BKB in the Requiem. They'll take down the Tusk and they get the Bailey racks there from the bottom lane. And Secret, they're able to get themselves back out. Here we go, Secret. The smoke's up. Arteezy leading the way. He's going to find Misery again. Blink's forward. They are as far the size of the Big Daddy Hotel. Bow 7 pops the BKB. Tries going, but Arteezy and Silver Lord, they've already popped their BKBs. That's going to be his first kill, bringing it down, Big Daddy. They're trying to chase down Bow 7. Vacuum will catch out. He's trying to top gang himself away. But S4, he's already on the front lines. The track is onto Bone 7. The dagger is one. Now with the Requiem blowing them up. That's two kills. Make that three kills as EE falls as well. And again, this is a situation where the Phantom Lancer, he's down for 80 seconds. And he doesn't have buyback. Got to be a buyback from Big Daddy. The fortification will come out. A secret. They're going to be happy just standing here on the high ground. Oh, the silence. The light. Bring it far back. It's, it's too tanky for them to bring down. But they'll certainly give him a bit of a ship, isn't it? And there we go, there's your third first end of those rapid. Now Big Daddy coming in with a snow, but they're trying to do something here onto S4. Can they bring anyone down though? S4's going to be able to blink away, there's a Fiends group onto Zai. Misery, they'll just be pushed and popped away here by Puppy. And now the Nightmare to Misery, actually it attempted to be a defensive one, but it's actually going to spell disaster for him as BKB's popped by Arteezy. He just takes down the Bane. They've already taken down the Melee Racks in the mid lane. Rage Racks are going to almost certainly go down here as well. Gems on the deck in Cloud9, they're just falling apart. Bow 7 will charge in now. He wants to find something desperately going for Puppy here. Can he kill the console? That's the big question. <laughs> it doesn't look like he can. He goes in with an Ever Strike. They've, they've lost S4 here on the side of Seeker, but now the Shuriken Bounce is coming through. They take down Big Daddy. Zai now on a dominating kill streak. It's easy, just casually TPs himself out. And here we go. It's again another team fight. The Secret, they're coming out on top. They might lose Zai off the back of it. Diffuser Blade coming out. Are you trying to go in, but he needs to be careful here. He can't die again. It's going to be disastrous for Cloud9. He will just doppelganger himself away. And Secret, they just don't want to leave the base. They're happy hanging around him. Artizi TP's home and gets recalled back in. He's 100% uptight this hero. And now Envy is about to die again. This will be hit if they lose the PL. And with the vacuum back, Envy gets pulled in, healed up by the Bloodstone. But it's not going to be enough for him. Nor is this like one last Dark Seed Punch brings him down. And that's game over. Wow. I mean, this was a game that we were, what, 16 minutes in or something, and it was 22-8 yeah. to eight for Cloud9. Yeah, even and though then, it was like 10-1 oh, or 10 to yeah. Well... It was... <laughs> Cloud9, it was weird. I think there was some, like... To me, their draft kind of lacked that synergy. They had these very late-game-oriented heroes in Zeus, as well as... Uh...